Still there? Am I still there? we go. So, please, I know you guys are here to see Charles and Kenny and Samantha, right? So, I've got two out of three, so 66%. Here we go. Please give a big round of applause to Kenny and Samantha for your Mario stuff, your games. We got microphones. Sit wherever you wish. I guess we will. Yeah. All right. This right here. This is so I remember who I am. Yeah. Do you need, okay. need to turn that around? Is that, no. Yeah, actually, yeah, that would be better. <laughs> oh, that's me. I'm Kenny. That's you. Yeah, there we go. Bowser. Huh? Huh? Hi, huh? guys. It's great to see you all. Y'all look so beautiful. We were walking in and we're like, okay, this is amazing. Are you having fun at Sack Anime? <laughs> you guys are here. How, how has it been for you, Kenny? This has been uh, pretty nutsy for me. Uh, I'm still relatively new to cons myself, and this is definitely the largest turnout I've been to, and it has been a blast. Everybody here, the staff has been amazing, and you fans have been absolutely incredible. You guys are friendliest people. Yeah. So this is my first time doing uh, a SAC anime, obviously, and it's the first time I've ever been to Sacramento, and this place is great. The view from my hotel room is sweet. <laughs> and we get Joe. Are you moderating, Joe? I am moderating. Thank Thanks. you. you he's, he's Thank you for moderate. allowing me to. He's very moderate. <laughs> he's moderate. Yeah, we just that wanted to thank you, though. This is my very first con ever, and yeah, thank you. See what we do for you guys? <laughs> and I did not know what to expect or anything, and it's the first time I've been with Charles and Kenny, and all three of us together, and we're just having the best time. As we, want it, we want to come back right away. We're like, this is the best. So thank you guys very much. Really appreciate it. Oh, well, thank you for coming. Yeah, I know it's a I know it's kind of like we're kind of like reeling you in. We're like, can we get some anthos? <laughs> come on. Yes. It's so fun. I'm glad you came. It is really fun. It's fun, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I'm glad we roped you into it. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. more, I guess I should have been more like. <laughs> it's it's the faces. It's like, oh my god, he just did it. <laughs> he just had my bouncer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what you guys been up to? I mean, you were here yesterday and today, and yes. what, what have you been up to besides, you got anything fun that you can talk about, or what you've been up to, things that you've been doing besides Project Nintendo? Thing. We're not really allowed to talk about <laughs> stuff coming up. <laughs> I can't talk about that, they'll kill but me. But, <laughs> Kenny had a really uh, an interesting story yesterday, as you were talking about how you actually got discovered as Bowser, and oh I did not know that. That was a really cool story. How many of you guys know how Kenny uh, became the actor for Bowser? You guys? Okay, See, there's, there's enough people few. who don't. There's only two, so okay. three. Okay, do you guys want to hear it? Okay, you guys. <laughs> cool. All right. All right. Hey, story time. It seems like the vast majority didn't know. So, I mean, it's a it's a story of accidental discovery. So. Back in about uh, 2001 or so, when the, the interwebs were still starting to grow, <laughs> and uh, I went and got a website, and I was like, I'm going to get www.kennyjames.com, and I'm going to be a voice actor. And then he waited. And, and you wait, mm -hmm. and you wait, because you can't, you can't do it, you know, you can't just, it won't fall in your lap, not completely. Well, eventually, I did get a little bit of buzz going, and there was a guy in Canada who was paying me eight bucks a line for uh, things he was using for answering machine stuff. Uh, he would just pay me on PayPal. And I was like, he'll never pay me anyway. So I would send him files, and then, oh, look at this. Hey, this guy paid me. I'm like, I'm a professional voice actor. <laughs> was this like those 800 number, like, goofy tape? <laughs> You know, I don't exactly know what he was using them for, but what I wasn't doing like, hi, this is Bob's answering machine message or anything like that. It was, it was like, hey, Scoob, answer the phone. And, it, you know, and I'd, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was doing impersonations. You know, he'd be like, uh, you know, do this, do that. I'm like, okay. Well, I was working for Suburban Propane. I was selling, yes. Propane and propane accessories. 
If you guys have any propane I'm gonna questions, you on that. he can help Go do it. Yeah. Do it. yeah. I used to sell propane and propane <laughs> accessories, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Well, while I was Hank killing about, uh, we were working a job, and uh, the customer overheard me talking to my service partner uh, about doing these little voiceover things. And she goes, oh, you do voices? And I'm like, yeah, I also hear voices. <laughs> but that's a different story, mostly. Uh, and she, she passed my name and my little website, I had a demo produced back then that was horribly long. It was like three and a quarter minutes. Way long for a demo. And she played it for a 14-year-old. And the 14-year-old dug it. He was like, that guy's fun. You know, and I was like, oh, sweet. So she sends it over to the studio where Nintendo does their recording, or at least Nintendo of America. And um, the production manager there began sending me auditions. I auditioned for Sly Cooper three characters. I didn't get any of them. Aww. I was sad. Aww. And then I get the Bowser thing. And they were recasting, and I still don't know exactly why. People ask me, I don't know. Uh, and I just, I just have to do, oh, I, I can do Bowser audition, and I had reference tapes from the previous Bowser, and I sent it in, and I thought, that's it. Uh, there won't be anything, another cricket session, you know. And um, lo and behold, I get an email that says, you got the job. And I was like, no way. <laughs> I was like, so cool. I'm going to be rich and I'm going to be able to just travel the world. That doesn't happen. <laughs> but I did become Bowser, and now it has been 14 years and 30, almost 40 game titles. So I'll never catch up to Charles, but that's the way it happened. And speaking of Charles. Come on, Charles. Come on up, Charles. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Charles Martin. Sorry, sorry about that. I've got water for you and everything. Sitting next to me yeah. anyway. <laughs> Actually, here. Oh. Hello, it's -a me, Mario. <laughs> Mamma mia, you're number one. <laughs> and Luigi, too. Luigi, number one. Luigi, number one. Ho <laughs> ho. See, wow. I told you, that's just what I have a rotten day. Yahoo. <laughs> oh, wait. I almost forgot Mommy said say something nice. <laughs> And Luigi, I always go last. And baby Luigi, and baby Mario, let's go! Yahoo! Hello! <laughs> Yay! Fantastic to be here. Thank you guys. Sorry to be late. Sorry to, to be late. I'm so glad that you guys just. That's okay. I, I held them captive while you were gone. <laughs> Yay! The one thing you didn't do, you haven't done your Bowser sound. If you uh, yeah. You guys want to hear that? Do you want to hear it? Thank you. So how many of you guys have seen Charles at a previous con? Uh, oh. oh, but many know. So this is your first time, eh? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's great. I'm so happy to be here. That, if I may just say, thank you all very much. I always say this because, first of all, thank you to Sack Anime for, for bringing us here. It's so fantastic. We get to come and meet you. So thanks to Sack Anime. Absolutely. And absolutely most important, of course, for me is when, for all of us, is Nintendo. Thank you very much, Nintendo. But even beyond that is you. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Your love of the game, your joy, your sense of fun is, is what gives us all the opportunity to, to do these games and to do what we love to do. And I'm sure the three of us... <laughs> I'll just go on forever, so never mind. <laughs> but, you know, uh, we get to do what we love to do in life, and that's do these voices and play and have fun in our little sandbox called the Sound Studio. 
And it's what I wish for everybody, is whatever it is that makes you joyful and happy and, and have a sense of meaning and fun, that's what I hope you do, you know? And we all of us get in our own way of, of, of some of the fulfillment of life destiny. But if you follow your heart and stay on your own path and, and seek your passions and your joy, like coming to something like this, you'll find that it just, life just has a way of, of, of working and that's, that's what I'm hoping for everybody here. And also, thank you very much for playing my game. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it's, it, I really get a kick out of seeing how many people actually get so much enjoyment out of Bowser's Bowserness, for any lack of any other word. It's great. I really appreciate that. You know what's been fun too is hearing um, how good you are at doing voices. How many of you, as you're playing the games, you can make the voice sound exactly like it. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard a bunch of you today, and it is amazing, you know, and that's Be just careful. one of the, it's fun, <laughs> yeah, you might get hired, yeah. so, um, yeah, just, thanks for being cool like that, that's really neat to hear, and, uh, I don't know, do we want to grab a couple questions? Oh, yeah, we can what definitely do, do that. Shall we? So, yeah. See what's Come on, on your up. mind? <laughs> If you have questions, pop in live. Are you going to freak out again? Don't be shy. <laughs> Hi. Hi there. What's your name? My name's Hope. Oh. Hi, Hope. Come on up. She's if so petite. If you just tilt it down towards your mouth, so it aims right at your mouth. They said that mic for that, Charles. Oops, that'll do it. You can just <laughs> hold it, too. That works, too. Is okay. Is it on? Okay. There we go. Rose. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Aw, it's okay. How did you become a voice actor and voice the people who are in the Tinder game? Charles Martinet. Martinet. Thank you very much. Charles Martinet. How did I become the voice of Mario? Well, I had been an actor for many years, but my initial intention was to go into law school, and then when that didn't uh, look, look right for me, I uh, started doing acting work. I did acting in theater for 10 years, studied in England, came back, did theater. Couldn't stand doing theater at a certain point because I was just, it was just so... You know, it was just, it was just, I had too much angst at the time. And so I started doing uh, other work all over the place, doing corporate videos, corporate voice things. And then one day I was doing what actors do, sitting at the beach waiting for the phone to ring. And those days it was a pager. And my little pager went off and went, oh boy, my friend, maybe I'll go have lunch or dinner. And, and, and it was a friend, he said, you've got to go crash this audition. It's for a job in Las Vegas. I said, there's no way I would ever crash an audition. I'm a professional actor. Where? <laughs> and I went. And so I, I, I was walking in the door as the producer was walking out the door. And I said, hi, can I read for this? And there was literally that moment of like, oh, I, oh. All right, come on in. We're going to set the camera up. You're an Italian plumber from Brooklyn for a company called Nintendo. This case his name is Mario. And uh, we're gonna uh, start the camera. You just uh, make up a voice, make up a video game. You're gonna be doing a real-time animation thing in Las Vegas, and we have no idea if it's gonna work or not. They'll see Mario, but you'll have a hidden camera, hidden microphone. If it doesn't work, you still have to talk all day. So, so just do stuff, and then when you run out of things to say, that's it. And, and I thought, you know, Italian plumber from Brooklyn, you know. Get out of my face, I'm working here, you know, or something. And I thought, well, that, that would not be fun to do all day. And what if there are kids there? I want to be something happy and friendly. So I had played Grimio in Taming of the Shrew in the theater 10 years before. And, and I, I thought, well, nice Italian guy. Don't go like this. But maybe I'll do something like that. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I don't know anything about video games except for waka, 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 waka. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'll just make something up about food. So I, I, I suddenly heard the action and I said, Hello, I'm a Mario. Let's make a pizza pie together. You will get some uh, sausage. I get some spaghetti. You put spaghetti in the sausage and the pizza, spaghetti in the sausage. And then I chase you the pizza. And if I catch you the pizza, you gotta eat the pizza. <laughs> and I thought he'd say, well, thank you very much. That's nice. And he didn't. So I said, then we'll make another pizza. <laughs> and you chase me the pizza. And you catch me the pizza. Then I'm gonna eat the pizza. <laughs> And then we're going to make a lasagna. <laughs> and and I, I went through every, you know, we're coming up and down, chasing each other in the paint lasagna pan, and then we're going to make tortellini, fettuccine, da, da, da. and I ran out of pastas in my brain, so I just started making things up that went, and then ini and ano and unu, you know, and I just kept going and going, 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 and you know, it's like, it was like, you know, running, 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 and then until I finally heard, stop talking. <laughs> 
cut, there's no more tape, thank you, we'll be in touch. And I thought that was like, you know, that for the actor means there's the door, don't let it hit you on the way out. And, and I left and I went back to the beach, watched the sunset, he gets on the phone, I found on Mario, I got him. And that was the only tape that he sent, and that was 27 or 28 or 29 years ago, of absolute joy and fun. Thank you. You know, so you can never tell, I always say live your dreams. But you don't always know what they are, but I always knew I wanted to make my mom laugh, and I always want to make people smile and be happy. So that's why I say, you know, do what you love to do, because when you're doing something you love to do, it just suddenly things happen. You know, Dave, David Tennant is the only person I've ever met in my life who's, who was five years old, and he saw a Doctor Who episode, and he said, I want to be him when I grow up. He's the only one. The rest of us, you don't know. And then, but you, when you're happy and you're doing what you love, it's like an opportunity uh, happens. And I, that's what I believe in, is, is the, the style of causation of resonance. When you're being happy, great things come. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. That's a lovely question. I'm Thank sorry, you, I, Paul. I'm sorry I don't know how to answer it short. <laughs> but thank you. Absolutely, you gotta, you gotta reach for your goals. The, 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 the biggest secret of acting to me is to focus on whatever it is that the character's focusing on. Like a dog chasing a ball on the beach. It's like, all he wants to do is get the, the ball. He's not thinking, what if my tail should waggle? Or if my master likes it, my tail was, and they're not going, oh, you didn't run fast enough to get that ball. It's just ball, 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 you know? Oh, and when I you're, stepped on a jellyfish. <laughs> Sorry. When you're when you're doing that, things happen, you know. And there's lots lots more. Obviously, life is really complex. But you know, starting with your own personal happiness and being your own best friend is a, is a great place to start for for achieving those goals. Yes. Yeah. And best best of luck to you. That's Thank so you. Nice. You're welcome. Thank you. Come on up. Look at you, what a great cosplay. Oh, hi. Wow. Thank you. All right, I'm going to try it out. Then I'm going to go like I'm going to take the ball from that. Anyway, uh, I'm easily attended, but it's a question to go more to a child's mark today. But since they ask us to keep this part general, I'll just ask. I'll just keep that part out of it. So across every game you guys have ever played a role in, which one was your most favorite though? F favorite game yes. that we voiced? Yes. Okay. You haven't said anything in a while, you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you were looking at me, I'm like, oh yeah, no, no, that would have been a great uh, joke. And it went right yeah. over, yeah. my own joke went right over my own head. Yeah. Bowser's not too bright. <laughs> Good thing he's got a great personality though, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I, we love all of them, and there's something that's kind of like, well, I can say that for me, is when you, when you do it, it's fresh. You know, there are new ideas and new things that you're doing, and that's kind of fun. And, um, and then the challenge of how are you going to interpret this. And uh, so, yeah, usually, I like all of them. I mean, I'm a huge fan of, of the original <laughs> Mario Kart. You know, I love that. But, I, I, you know, thanks, yeah. I've got one friend over there. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, what? They're, I mean, they're all fun, and it's all brand new. So it's pretty sweet. I don't, what would you say? Uh, my answer always goes to 3D World. Um, no, no. So you either really like the game or you heard my story. I don't know which. But, uh, 3D World because of Meowser. Uh, Meowser, Meowser was a great challenge for me. Uh, they had no idea what the, what the version of Bowser would sound like. I asked them, what do you want? And they said, we don't know. <laughs> and I was like, okay, good, give me a second. <laughs> so you, you come up with you come up with something just on the cuff, yeah. And so because of inventing Meowser and the way he looks, uh, I'm picking 3D World. Charles? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's I, I love every you know to me all. I just I, I, I love it all and when I first see it, it it's just so charming to me. When I see Galaxy, I get goosebumps. When I saw Super Mario 3D World, I'm like, I just giggled, you know, <laughs> Super Mario Bros. Wii, I just, that, that, you know, 
I mean, I just sit there giggling and laughing, and Odyssey is a brilliant, just so brilliant with Cappy, and Mario 64, the first full title game that I did. You know, <laughs> it's all just so many great memories, thanks to Nintendo, thanks to fellow actors that, that we all just try to just do our very best to play the, the very small part that we have, but it's, it's like, yippee. <laughs> Thank you. Good question. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Hey there. Nice hat, bro. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so my, thank you for coming again. You're welcome. Thank you. So my question is, how was it like seeing a novel version of yourself when you did the game of Mario Luigi Pepper Jam? Uh, how was it like to see another version of myself when when I saw when I saw what? When there was no version of your the paper version. Oh, Panda. Oh, paper Mario. The paper yeah. Mario. Okay. Paper Mario. Yeah. Super Paper Mario. I love Paper Mario. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's really great. You know, so, love it. Very interesting concept. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's so fascinating, you know, I just, you know, I'm, I'm lucky for me, I'm just a voice actor. I could never create a game or anything. I couldn't have the, the focus and concentration for it. You know, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna, okay, every day I'm gonna write, oh look, a butterfly, you know, and then I'm, I'm gone. So I, I just so admire uh, that level of creativity and the, and the motivation and discipline it takes to do, do it. I, I'm just amazed by the creative teams at Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. amazed. Thanks, Champ. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the question. All right. Thank you. I like that backpack. I do too. Yeah. yeah. And the hat. Hi there. Hi there. I got to say, it's an honor to be in front of all creators. You're all awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My, my question for is for Charles and Samantha. Um, as your characters Luigi and Ted, what was it like working? Uh, what was it like working together for Luigi's Mansion? Well, yeah. th that's the interesting thing, and a lot of people think, that, and, and we would love it if it was true, that we all get together and we do these games together, you know, in a room, kind of bouncing off each other and things like that. Well, the way it normally works is we're in a room by ourselves, and there's some guys on the other side of it who are all the directors and writers, and um, they're coaching us and going, here's the line, sometimes we'll see some of the video, and, um, but we don't actually get to work together, so it's yeah. a surprise for us when we see the game at the end and go, oh wow, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, awesome, yeah. you know, and oh, it, um, yeah. it's brand new to us because I don't know what he's going to do um, all the time, and he doesn't yeah. know what I'm going to do, so it's... Sometimes I hear her lines, so I know what, right. how to respond to it, and she hears my knowing how to respond. But you know, acting is, is so different today than it used to be. It used to be you know, a bunch of actors in a room all going at it, and now it's just uh, it's very individual. So we don't know until we see it, but it's really fun when we do. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And you had a good point, too, you were saying about, because it is interesting when you have some guys on the other side of the glass, and they're coaching you, and they're telling you to, to say a certain line, and you say yeah. it, and the reaction, <laughs> Silence. Yeah. It, you, sometimes you work really hard on something and you go, Good. And you're looking through the glass and you hear nothing because you can't hear through the glass. And they're sitting in there and they're doing this. Talking to each other. And you start to get paranoid. You start sweating. Like you literally start pitting out. <laughs> or at least you know? I do. I get, I get to the point where I'm like, oh man. Oh. I, that must have really been bad. Yeah. They're in there, you know, ordering Pizza. tuna sandwiches or something. You know? yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, they're going, they're going like this. Nah, I can't uh, stand oh. pizza again today. Yeah. You know? you're, you're like, thinking, oh no! Yeah, you think they're saying, I, this is the worst and actor I've ever seen in my later, life. Yeah. They yeah. come back. That, yeah. that was a great take. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> Did you want pizza today? <laughs> no, yeah. you just yeah. killed me. Oh yeah, sorry for that but, delay. Let's move on. But yeah. there's that thing too of the actor chasing the ball, because if you if you let that get to you, you're like, oh my god, they didn't like me. And then you're sitting there going like, your next take, you're like this, instead of, go get the ball, go get the ball, you know? And so you change it, and there's an amazing phenomenon. I don't know if there are actors, uh, future actors and actors out there, but there's an amazing phenomenon. If you try to give the product or the, 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 the producer what he wants, you can do it 
perfectly and for sure you'll never get the job for sure you'll never get the job because you're not being you're presenting and and you know and at the same token you'll get a job so often when you're something that they completely didn't expect you know so you just you, you, and you just never know so you've got to make the audition the whole process i'm here to have fun this is my sandbox yippee and you play you know so and it is true though you can in a session but you can mess with yourself but if you stay focused on that ball and you're like okay because you keep working while they're doing that and you just focus focus okay i'm going to do this i'm going to do this and this I, I i i improvise that's i love to improvise but i don't just throw it out there i also think about it and then i throw it out there i'll write down 10 different improv ideas and then do them while they're going i can't stand this actor you know i'm i'm in there trying to do you know what what my next thing is do you have a line that you did that they didn't write for you and you improvised it and it became iconic that's a very good question uh you know in in the in the process i never know whose idea things are okay that's the best way to generous because i mean right? you know it's a me mario or woo or i mean i walked around going woo and i was doing woo as the improvised a uh, thing you know for for years and, and that's I, but you know where does it you know or spaghetti ravioli you just never know where ideas come from or what things what things are but it's amazing how many things are part of the world culture it's amazing yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice oh. outfit. Thank you for cosplaying, everybody. Love, Love cosplay. Yes. Isn't this the greatest? It's the, I just, and again, Sacramento makes this beautiful, safe, wonderful place. If they could just stop the rain. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to Scott. Hello, Gaming 3. Hi. So, this question is mainly for Samantha, but Kenny and Charles, you can chime in if you want to. Um, how would. How would Peach and Toad sound like if they were somehow possessed? I mean, captured by Mario. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. I don't know. That's you a know, new scenario. You know, and the thing is, too, is is because I mean, I appreciate the creativity of the question. the The, the thing is, what we do is we bring our truth to each character, and so. It's it. It would be sort of like we have to be careful not to go. Oh, okay, let me just, let me like let Mar let me do Mario's voice saying you know somebody else's lines because that would be outside the the ideal dream of Nintendo for us to be out there doing things. So we're all very careful because we're also aware that Nintendo is so incredibly great to us. So we don't want to do something that would be like you know like playing with with the character voice but then doing another line or another actual voice of it is outside of what they what I think would be appreciated though I appreciate the question yeah Do you know what I mean good question yeah. thank you though thank, thank you guys for being here glad to have you thank, thank you, you. So much. Thank, thank you hi there hey I've seen you that's is that Cole yeah. <laughs> yeah? No. what's your name Cameron Cameron it's Cameron, Cameron. that's right okay yeah. all right so how do you guys feel this is a question for all of you that you can relate to your characters in some way, shape, or form in your everyday life? Well, I, uh, I used to be a lot angrier than I am now. <laughs> I, was an, I was an angry person. But I've since been nicer. But, as an actor, I can still be an angry person. Yeah, well, you know, you have to get in there, you have to give it everything you've got. When I was a little girl, I always wore long dresses. And everyone was like, that's weird, you know? That's so not cool. And I just loved everything princessy. And, um, you know, who knew that that could become a job? <laughs> but, it, you know, it's just, to me, the, what I like about Peach is that she's always um, innocent and sweet. And she's um, also... Uh, determined, you know, like she's gonna show up, and and so I like that too. And I, I don't know, the world's kind of weird, and sometimes if you can hold that innocence and that strength and just show up, then nothing can harm you. And that's what I feel is so beautiful about Peach. I well, I am I'm glad you asked that because you, uh, to you know, actors 
you, you, every character has to be true. It's just the size of it. You know, film, you just have to feel something or think it, and it comes out because your head is the size of a, you know, 50, 100,000 watermelons put together. In, in, in voice acting, you have to be really kind of big, so, but it always has to be true, and the truth for me that I love about Mario is, is the, the innocence, the joy, the happiness, the fun, the love, the truth, the devotion, the, the, the commitment, the loyalty, the trustworthiness, those are, those are character aspects that I achieve, uh, try to achieve in my life. And, you know, I also love Luigi's trepidation and fear and anxiety, because I experience those myself too. And always, it's like, if you can conquer your fear, or do what gives you that anxiousness, you know, all those things that your voice inside is telling you are gonna destroy you, but are actually making you stronger, you know? So I, I, I relate to those characters so much, and, and I also relate to the grumpy, <laughs> I don't worry me, you know, things too. But, you know, I, I love the characters, and I think that when, one of the things that I think the characters has slightly in common is there is an innocence. Even in the evil of Bowser, yeah. there's an innocent playfulness, like Wario and Waluigi. There's an innocent, you know, things. Because the, the negative aspect of emotion and personality is, you know, self-pity is, I feel so sorry for myself, therefore I can do anything to anybody else I want, you know? And this is how we think and how we justify doing things that are bad, you know? That but sounds I'm, just like Bowser. Hmm? <laughs> that sounds just like Bowser. Yeah. I, did, I think I described him on, on uh, the TV interview the other day, yesterday, that, uh, that he was a... Like an angry child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when you, when you yeah. can, when you, the great thing about being his actor is you, you have to look deeper and deeper and deeper into yourself because what you do as a character actor is you, you look deeper and deeper and deeper into the character and why do they do these things? And so you have to know these things. So you have to know these things about yourself. And so that is, is, a, is, a, is a sort of like doorway into personal growth for me personally. You know. It's a good question, Cameron. That's really yeah, smart. Yeah, it's a lovely yeah. question. I have always heard, like, as a voice actor, you, like, you need to find your character. You have to, there were, most of the time, you'll relate to something in some way. Yeah. I yeah. Love I love impersonating the intended characters. Cool. Yeah. I've heard yours. <laughs> They're good. <laughs> yeah, it's so great. Thank you very and much. thank you again for the lovely gift. That's so sweet. Yeah, thank no you. Problem. Yeah. Thanks, right, thank you. Thank you very much. Hello. Again. Oh, again. Hi. Hello again. So my question for Mr. Martinet is, um, as of Super Mario Odyssey, Mario now wears a sentient cat on his head. So what are your impressions of those here? What are your thoughts on that? Wait, I'm getting, not quite hearing, did I hear you? I'm so sorry. That's all right. Stay a little bit farther back from the microphone. It'll pick up everything you say. So, as of a Super Mario Odyssey, Mario now wears a sentient cat on his head. Yes. What's your impression? Cappy? My, was my impression of Cappy? I love Cappy! You know, I, I, I walked into the studio, you know, and I'm like, I, I'm always so happy to be going to the studio. And I, and, I, and, I, and I see you start, I saw some animation, I went, oh my gosh, this is magical. As soon as I saw that first action, that first, you know, the, you know and it was like, oh, this is so great. And I was right, it's a magical game. It's so brilliant. I love with Nintendo that the most, First game you ever see, and the most recent game you ever see, there is that playful, joyful, innocent line that goes through all of it, all to there, the music, the, the characterizations, and it just, that, Cappy, is something I could never think of in a million years. And I just, I can imagine how fun it must be to have that sort of mind to create that way. It must be great. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. My reaction to Cappy was, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, that's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did not know that he would be able to get Bowser with it though. I, I wasn't aware of that. That was so cute. Yeah. That was a surprise. Yeah. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, hello. You're Hi there. there. Hi. Uh, I have a question about Toad. Yes. How are you able to still talk normally while doing that voice for so many years? <laughs> Did you hear that okay? Yeah, how are you still able to talk normally after doing Toad's voice for so many years? Um, great question. It's so fun with that voice because the guys who do the directing know that that's a hard voice to do. 
So what the way we do it when we're recording is we'll always start with peach, because um, that's a lot easier. And then if we do toad stuff, we'll start with the lower key stuff, you know, the more gentle stuff, and get higher and higher energy, because by the end, it is gone. <laughs> and if you've ever tried to do that voice, you know, it only, after four hours, you're like, whew, <laughs> that's it. So um, it's a great question, but I mean, it's still hanging in there. I drink a lot of water. Uh, <laughs> Clean living, I don't know. You know, it's just, I just have fun and um, it's still there. So, and I love that voice. So that's a voice, I was talking about this yesterday, that um, I didn't know, I hadn't played any of the games when I did the audition. Um, but I have a voice that I've always done since I was a little girl and my mom would tuck me into bed and I had a little puppet named Cedric and he was a dog. And um, he would he would go, you know, and he would talk like that. And my mom would just be like, oh, this child, you know, like, please go to sleep. And, and um, that voice ended up when I did the audition of being a match for Jen Taylor to, to get that role, which was amazing to me, you know. And, and um, so I've been actually doing that voice since I was 11. <laughs> so it's, I think it's just a good, it's just a voice that I'll probably always do, I hope, yeah. Thank you for the question. Thanks for understanding that too, that it's a little hard. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Now you really give it your all with every single you tape. You, there's, yes. there's, there's no holding back. So by the end of the session, you, you're, you're, you're spent. Yeah, but you do spent. drink a lot of water, yeah. Yep, that's true. And then you have to go to the bathroom for the whole session. So. Oh yeah, in a two hour session, I'll drink five Look at days. you, you You're five. amazing. Spectacular. Oh, you guys, look at her. Look at her. <laughs> Now, are you going to explode onto the scene with a dynamite question? <laughs> Hi, pun! Hi, pun! Hi, pun! I think I... Is that a pun? Hi, pun. Yippee! And scene. Yeah! <laughs> you look fantastic. Thank you. Uh, my question is, besides your character, what other character do you like from the Mario universe? I, I, I believe I've actually answered that. I think I answered this question before. I thought you were going to say, nobody. Nobody. <laughs> no one. It's Bowser. I don't like none of his. <laughs> his, his all is no good. Um, I, think we had that, I think we did have that question, you and I together, and I, my answer took you by surprise, I think, because I said Mario. Because of practically, oh, that's so nice. practically for the same reason that Charles would say, and it's just because he's so happy and so upbeat through all that ad adversity, and he just keeps going. I have to, I have to tear him down a little bit because you know it's Mario. But, eh. but what's no, your, what's for your me, favorite? Mario. What's your favorite? Yoshi and Toad. Yoshi. Really? Oh, I nice. love Yoshi. Oh, yeah, Yoshi is not great. You know, it's, a, it's yeah. where don't you ever have like days where you like one character and they're like, now I'm going to switch over and I'm, I'm feeling this now, you know? Um, but I don't know. Everyone likes Mario for the most part. And I'm, but I'm, a, I'm also a big Yoshi fan. I named my love bird after Yoshi. You did? That's sweet. Aww. Aww. A little pudgy fat love bird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I love all the characters. That's a good I, they're name just for it. so fantastic to me. I just I fall in love with Kirby, with with Link. I mean, you know, That's I, I, right. I just You're right. really, you That's know, right. Princess Peach, Mrs. Daisy, Rosalind, Rosalinda. Every time there's somebody else, it's like, oh, you're kidding, really? It's just so sweet. It's so it touches my heart when I see these happy, beautiful, innocent things. Because I I just think, you know, in life as you get older, you can choose to be it's easy to become cynical. And if you, if you have the chance to choose innocence, to not think that you know all the answers of, you know, that, oh, well, this is gonna happen, da, da, da. It's easy to get that sort of like jaded. And if you can re-choose innocence, it, it just creates new light in the life, in, in the world. And I, and I feel like that's, that's what these characters are. They have a light of innocence that is just so beautiful. So I love them all. Good. Give Yoshi a hug from us too. Yay. <laughs> oh. Thanks, mate. Stay sexy. Thank you. Yay. Tiptoe carefully. <laughs> I love the little swoosh on the in the hair and everything. It's just so great. Hi. Hi, another great cosplay. Hi. Wow. So I, I do admit I feel like this outfit's a little too posh for my face. <laughs> 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 anyway, I have a big 
question, not just for you three, but everybody in this room. Can you see Luigi as a Ghostbuster? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think the answer sure, is solid. Not? I think so, yeah. Okay. Yes, I think so. I think so. <laughs> the majority has spoken. Can you tell me why? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, it's, you know. There are ghosts in the castle that you bust. <laughs> there are ghosts. There are ghosts in the mansion. Boom. I'm kind of hoping for some new attachments, though, you know, for those hard-to-reach ghosts underneath <laughs> the staircase and behind the curtains, you know. Yeah. Those are the those are the tough ones. You need that new... Yeah, like a know. Roomba, but for ghosts. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I was about to recommend Dyson. Dyson! Dyson. <laughs> You're going to go top hey, of the line, Dyson. baby. Top Dyson. of the line. That's a shameless plug. <laughs> Dyson back in All right. Right. Today's Thank cleaning you. for tomorrow. Thank, Thank you very you. much. You're adorable. Thank you. Oh so there's this costume. Another great costume. Hey. Hi. Hi. This is cosplay day. Hi, my name's Laura. And um, I heard a rumor that said that um, at least one of you actually said goodbye, uh, goodnight to each of his, his or her characters before you go to bed. Is that true? And how do you do it? Hmm. Not me. What was what? Say goodnight to your character before you go to bed. Do you? Bowser! You do! Oh, oh you oh, big fuzzy Sarah, bubble. You just, you just... I don't, <laughs> oh, I don't, no. I, I actually hey, haven't heard you that, You can so. tell us, you can totally no, tell us. No, Come on, Kenny. No. Yes, you do. No, but... <laughs> but I do keep many versions of Bowser in my studio in front of my computer monitor. They are my mascots in my studio, so. Do you talk to them? So I do, I have talked with them. Uh, do, do they talk back? Sort of, <laughs> oh, kind of. I mean, oh. you know, I have to do the voice back. back. It just comes naturally. Do you say, do you say, Good night, Bowser, and then. I love you. How did that, how would that No, sound? it really, it doesn't go, it doesn't go quite that deep. <laughs> Uh, mostly it'd be all like, I don't know how I'm going to edit this, and it's like, <laughs> and I'm like, don't laugh at me. So it's just that simple, but no, I, 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 more I manly, say goodnight yeah. to them. That's good. Thank you, Sora. That was such a cute question. It's such a cute question. So, like, you don't either do them? No? I have all the plush dolls in, in my... You sleep one. with them? <laughs> what? I, I am learning so them. much today. That's so cute. Good night, Mario. Good night, Luigi. Good night, Mario. Good night, Luigi. Good night, Bowser. Good night, Good night. 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 So it's like the Waltons. Do you guys remember that? No, they don't know the Waltons. That would be so cute. See, there's a few. There's two. There's four. Yep. Awesome. Thank you, Sora. Cheers, thank you. Yeah. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Mary Ellen. Hi there. Good night, Billy Joe Bob Jim. I, I think this is pretty much. Uh, wah, wah. Wah. So, what? What? Yeah. So, how much time? We have a, um, We have five minutes, so we have to get, try to get through everybody. So I'm gonna get serious now. Okay. Shit, does she actually <laughs> have? She keeps plugging <laughs> things. Hey, I, I did not say Dyson. No. That, that oh, was yo, so, oh, yeah. That was not. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I thank did you. not say Dyson. <laughs> Cleaning for today, for tomorrow's future. I didn't say that. What? Hello. Okay. Save time. I'll give a special one to Samantha. So, what's the funniest line you've ever recorded? Oh gosh, which ones do I like? Um, I think lately the one I'm thinking about is. Uh, uh, did I win? Because people hate that. They're like, I'm so tired of hearing that line now. <laughs> it's like, you hear it a lot, you're going, oh no. <laughs> I was kind of I was kinda hoping you'd say, oh Mario. Oh Mario. Oh. 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 The pinnacle of our careers, of course we do that. But of course we have no idea until, well, you know, what, what's going to happen. So, you know, and that's, that is certainly not in our domain, but yeah, you know. It's a lovely asking. question. Yes, yes, I would. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put that on tape. Yes, yes, I would. Looking right at the camera. Yes, yes, I would. Hi. Hi. First off, I want to say thank you so much for doing it. You made my childhood gaming fun. Yay. Yay. Thank, I thank you. That. That's awesome. Thank um, you. So this question is mainly for Mario, but you guys can answer too. Okay. Um, so how do you, how, as Mario, 
Uh oh, you know, that's me, yeah. What about you? Getting kidnapped. <laughs> um, you know what, I do, I think that that's, there's a sweetness between uh, Mario and Peach, you know, and that's one of the really fun things to, to play with, you know, when we're doing lines and stuff, and uh, yeah. And it's more complex with Bowser, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Bowser. <laughs> Look at him! He's pokier than I am. He is a bit. He's a bit. He's going to up now. You know, I, I think that uh, Bowser, Bowser needs Peach so that he can prevent her from undoing the things that he's done. Because she's magical, she's the only one that can really do it. I really thought this out. <laughs> I'm like, doesn't that make sense? It I does. Keep, I keep turning things into other things, and, and I'm not very nice at times, Aww. I don't want you to fix it. Oh, you love you, Bowser. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We only have a couple more minutes, but we're going to try okay, to we'll go, go through fast. everybody. You we'll betcha. Yeah. Speed round. Hi. Hi. Uh, it's probably not the best last minute question, but, um, uh, uh, but it's mainly for Charles. But, Hi. Was your experience doing the voice acting for WarioWare Gold any different from what you usually do since you got to do full voice acted lines compared to, you know, <laughs> you know, it's uh, it was a uh, it's 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 uh, I, I still got sushi and I still got to sit there and playing, but it is different, of course, doing full full lines and recording things. You know, it depends. There, there are different ways that you record. Sometimes you see the animation going and you you go to it. That's ADR, you know, uh, dialogue replacement. Sometimes you just have a script, and whenever you have it, for me, it's all fun and it's all play. So I just love it. Different, yes. Same, yes, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, have a rotten day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Always fun. Hi. 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 Uh, my main question is for Samantha. Yay. How did you do the voice of Pete? How? Yeah. Um, when I first when I first did it, I was matching Jen Taylor. They played me a little bit of it, and it was so easy. And it was just one of those things. I don't know why. Um, I hadn't played the game before then. Then I started playing after that and loved it. Um, but I had never played it, heard it. I, I just heard the clip of her doing it and tried to imitate it. And they, they, you know, I think she was sick that day, and they chose me. So I was like, yay! And and then after that, they just kept calling me. So. Um, I don't know. I think I, I just I've always loved princesses, and I, I think she's a particularly darling character. And that voice comes really easy for me. I have kind of a high pitched voice, so it works. Although Peach is a little higher. Sometimes I'll do it. And they're like, "You need a drink of water." <laughs> she's sounding too low. So thank you for asking that. You're welcome. Yay! Love Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, you can uh, you can take it up. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, there you go. Yay. Um, I got shit. Um, like for Mario mostly. Um, like when you were doing Mario and then they got called to do like more voice action. Like, what was your like, like um, reaction to it? Like, were you like excited to do it? Yippee! <laughs> you know, they've been, it's just been so many wonderful gifts. I was doing Mario in real time, and then one day I, I, we, I go to Consumer Electronics Show, and there's this marvelous character, Wario. And they said, do a voice to that, you know, and I, and I did. And then one day there was Donkey Kong, uh, Mario in real time, Mert, Wario in real time, Wirt, Dar uh, uh, Donkey Kong in real time, Dirt. And then, you know, I, then I, I, I I go in the studio one day and they're like, Wee! and there's this character, do a voice to him, and then the babies, and it's just been one tremendous gift after another. I'm so grateful to Nintendo, and grateful for everybody for enjoying the games, and grateful to work with people like that. I, I'm just so blessed and so fortunate to do what I absolutely love to do. It's a dream come true, and that's why I always wish it, certainly for you, to, to live your dreams, to, to find what gives you tremendous joy and happiness. Because it's a guarantee it, it, it'll bring happiness to others if you do. Right, when you do. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, and thank you, everybody. Really, it's such an incredible joy to be here. 
We love having you here. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you, Candy, for coming as well. Thank you. Um, I, uh, you guys. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to ask a favor. Let's do a picture with the three of us with our, uh, like, look, and you guys standing behind us going, yippee, or something like that. Woo! I mean, and you take it from above. Okay, I'll take so we get a, an audience picture with everybody, because it's just phenomenal to look out there and see all you wonderful people. Would you mind? Yeah. Coming this way. And, there you go. That's it. And come on, fill in this area here in the front. Oh, Uh, well, you're the tall guy, Charles. You're making the short guy. Guys. <laughs> 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 you're gonna come in here, Charles. You're gonna do a selfie it, or what are you gonna do? Okay, ready? This direction, so if you're going out the exit, you're going to go around, and it's going to be room 319. Room 319, so you can have photos done with us. Also, we'll be back at our tables tomorrow, so just to let you know, here we go. Thank you so much.